accurate forecast. Here is meteorologist Luke Victor. You still have to get through tonight, Monday, Monday night, and then through at least early Tuesday morning, and then we finally kick out the cold in southern Colorado. But you could see it here on your wind chill forecast. Still feeling bitterly cold by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, anywhere between minus 10 to minus 20 in most of the Pikes Peak region. Similar stuff over the parts of the southeast plains, and we really don't see any recovery as we head throughout the day. Tomorrow we have a lot more cloud cover to deal with, and the winds are going to be quite a bit stronger throughout the day on Monday too. So here we have this afternoon, wind chills actually got above zero for just a few hours with the sun out. But in general, with the clouds and wind tomorrow, it is going to be bitterly cold all the way throughout. And that dangerous cold that we've been talking about is those wind chills get to near minus 20 and minus 25 is going to be lasting likely throughout most of the entire day. Now, as we get into Tuesday morning, it's still very cold out there, but watch how we warm up into the afternoon hours. Yeah, feels a lot better to get all of that purple off the map. That'll indicate that we probably see those wind chills get into at least the 20s. So that's certainly better than minus 20 uh, as we get into Tuesday afternoon. And then Wednesday is looking great around here with the 40s and 50s making a return. We also have some snow to talk about for tomorrow, too. That's as a secondary push of Arctic air is going to be rolling into the region for Monday. You could see up by Denver by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, one degree with moderate snow falling. And then we start to see those snow showers break out in northern parts of the Pikes Peak region as early as 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. I think the bulk of the snowfall that has the potential to accumulate is probably somewhere between the noon hour and 6 or 7 p.m. For many of us, but check out the temperatures in Monument as this fresh supply of Arctic air rolls in minus 11 during tomorrow evening right around 5 o'clock. And then we'll see those snow showers begin to taper off. We clear out the skies, but because we clear out the skies into Tuesday morning, we get bitterly cold once again as we get well below zero. But check out Tuesday afternoon back into the 20s should feel a little bit better out there uh, in terms of how cold we have been. Not expecting a lot of snow out of this for tomorrow, but I think maybe we're underdoing these numbers here a little bit from this particular model. I think anywhere between one to two and maybe even in a few spots, three inches of snow could be possible. It's going to be a really light, fluffy snow that does fall. So one of those things where you could take the broom to the back deck and just kind of sweep this stuff off. It's going to be uh, basically powdery fluff that we're dealing with. And the similar situation to be expected up to about Highway 50 before we really start to shut off most of those snowfall totals for areas like Pueblo. I think one to two inches is a pretty good bet at this point in time. But all in all, it looks like we're going to be dealing with this higher impact Arctic air through at least tomorrow. Watch for the wind tomorrow as well. And then that snow is probably going to stick pretty easily to anything. So some slick spots could pretty quickly develop throughout the day and afternoon tomorrow. But the seven day forecast is looking much better around here. 50 in the springs on Wednesday and we'll keep those 30s and 40s around through at least next weekend. Similar forecast for Pueblo. 52 on Wednesday is going to feel a lot better than whatever the heck we got out there right now. Those temperatures into the 30s and 40s as we get into the end of the week and on to the weekend. Canyon City, it looks like it's going to be chilly for the next couple days before we warm back up into the 50s by Wednesday and Thursday.